Good morning, friends. It is Saturday. Um, I think it's, my hair's like stuck. Okay, the 31st is Tuesday, that's my birthday. It's the 20 something. <laughs> it's about 11.30, I just got done at the gym. Uh, Kevin is at work, so. I did another full arm workout by myself, like, can you tell? Probably not, because they're tiny. So, so tiny. But, <laughs> uh, yeah, I just thought I'd take you guys through the day with me. I haven't done, like, a day in the life vlog in a while, so, figured I might as well see what we can do here. We're celebrating my birthday tonight with the family. Um, my birthday's on Tuesday, but, I do not have off from work that day. So we're gonna celebrate tonight. I'll try to show you guys a little bit of that. It's just gonna be really chill. Uh, and we are going to run to Target quick because I need a few things. And then go home and see that puppy. I'll show you guys what I'm listening to real quick before we get going. Uh, sometimes I'll get in like these moods where I'll listen to country while I work out and that's like the only thing that motivates me but right now that's not really working like I can listen to it on the way to the gym but once I get here and especially if it's a Saturday and there's like a shit ton of people and I'm just like annoyed <laughs> because there's no room to do anything uh, I put on the Christian rap station on Spotify I don't know if it'll is it focused? It's so sunny in here. But yeah, it's just the Christian rap station on Spotify. It's one of my favorite stations. I don't know. Whatever. You listen to what you want. That's just my suggestion. I like it. So yeah, let's go to Target. And maybe I'll see you guys there. Maybe I'll see you at home. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so items have been acquired. I couldn't film in Target because my hands were a little full. I didn't anticipate having to carry this much stuff. That's what usually happens though, right? Uh, but they were out of the four pack of White Monster and usually they don't have like anything else that I like. I don't really like the other sugar-free monster flavors, but they did have a four for five dollar sale on this Rockstar lemonade flavor. So when I try this, I'll let you guys know how it is. Um, I usually get the fruit punch if I'm gonna get Rockstar or the silver. The silver is so good. I don't even know what it tastes like, but it it's probably my favorite sugar-free Rockstar flavor. And I've never tried this one. So, I mean, it's lemonade, it can't be that bad. There's only 10 calories and three grams of carbs per serving. There's two servings in the container. And that's cool because I only drink half at a time anyway. So, it's pretty legit. I'll let you guys know how I like it. So, I was carrying four of those around plus a regular just sugar-free monster for this afternoon because it's just me and the pup so I'm gonna have to <laughs> keep my energy up and then I don't know if I mentioned this on here yet but I've been doing um, hot lemon water in the morning to help with digestion and I'm short a lemon so I got another lemon <laughs> I looked like the biggest caffeine addict walking through Target without a basket <laughs> mind you it's a good thing I'm a waitress I can juggle multiple things at once but I found this salted caramel cold brew coffee with almond milk. It's by Califia Farms, or Califia. It's 90 calories per eight ounces, and it's only got 14 grams of carbs and one gram of protein. So those are pretty good macros, <laughs> and I'm really excited to try this. I love Starbucks cold brew coffee, so I think this is gonna be really good. I might try some of this later. If I don't drink the monster, we'll see. But we need to go home now to walk the pup and I will see you guys there. 
Okay, so we're home from the gym, and I'm just making some food. Uh, my normal egg scramble, I've showed you guys that like a thousand times, it's just egg whites, um, or Mel Taco pork, <laughs> I don't know why I can't think of this, and then some soy-free dairy cheese, soy-free, I'm sorry, dairy-free soy cheese, that's what I meant. Um, and then we are going to actually put that on this wrap. This is the wrap that I was talking about on Instagram the other day, the New York Deli style everything flavor. So that's what they look like. And I think I threw the package away. Oh wait, no I didn't, okay. So that's what the package looks like. And like I said, the macros for these wraps are two grams of fat, 16 grams of carbs, 10 grams of fiber, and seven grams of protein. And it's only 80 calories per wrap. So those are the bomb. I basically live off of them right now. Oh, I'm gonna stir my eggs. Um, and then we just have some carrots and some hummus on the side. So I'm gonna do this because I can't do it one-handed. Okay, so this is the finished product, and I'm gonna eat this. This is like my favorite lunch of all time. And then do some work, client plans and stuff like that. Do I look presentable now? I showered, did my makeup, kind of, I don't know. But before I get started on some work, I just wanted to talk to you guys quick for a couple minutes. Uh, a while back you guys asked me to do a video about carb cycling, so I'm just going to kind of do it in a nutshell because it's really, you don't have to get too scientific with it, and you guys know that's that's just not me. So, I'm just going to get right into it. <laughs> so, carb cycling is basically a tool to lose weight, lose fat. And let me first just say that unless you're competing or you haven't seen progress with being in a steady caloric deficit, like the same amount of macros or calories every single day, then that's, I completely just forgot how I worded that. You shouldn't have to utilize carb cycling unless you're competing or you haven't seen uh, progress with being in a steady caloric deficit by eating, you know, the same amount of macros and calories every single day. So that's really all carb cycling is. It's another diet tool. And you'll see like a lot of competitors carb cycle. Personally, I always use carb cycling. It's what works best for my body. And I'll usually do three low carb days and then one high carb day. And I'll probably have like one or two high carb days a week depending on how far I am into prep. Sorry, I'm like watching Bravo out of the corner of my eye out here, but basically when you carb cycle, you are eating less carbs on one day, so that's your low carb day, and then your high carb day, obviously you're eating more carbs. So how you make up for that with the rest of your macros, um, you'll usually have higher fat on low carb days and then less fat on high carb days and your protein will stay the same the amount of protein you eat and there's a lot of different ways that you can carb cycle like I said I'll do three low carb days or two low carb days and then a high carb day and I'll usually place my high carb days on a leg day actually I shouldn't say usually I always place my high carb days on a leg day because it's my most intense workout of the week but You'll see a lot of people do things differently. My last prep, my high carb days were essentially refeed days. I ate a little bit more calories on my high carb days than every other day of the week. So every day of the week was a low carb day. Those were the same calories, same macros. Higher fat, lower carb, moderate protein. And then my high carb days, I was eating maybe 100 or 50 more calories than I was on my low carb days. So lower fat, higher carb, same amount of protein. And you just have to kind of play around with what works best for your body. And you'll know once you start 
like if you do a cycle for two weeks and you don't really see any results you'll know you need to change something but carb cycling is essentially on your low carb days you're depleting the glycogen in your body and your body makes glycogen from carbs so you're depleting the glycogen in your body and by doing so your body has to find other sources to use for energy so you're Basically, when you're carb cycling, you're putting your body into a fat burning state. And then, I mean, obviously, that's not healthy to do that, you know, over and over again every single day, which is why you have the high carb days to replace that glycogen, fill it back up, your muscles will fill up, you'll have more energy, and that'll get, that'll get you through your next couple low carb days. And some people will be up in weight after a high carb day, which is kind of what you want. You want to be up in weight again, because then once you start going low carb again, your weight will drop even more. But some people will actually drop weight after a high carb day, which is fine. I mean, like I said, again, it just depends on your body, but I don't know. That's basically carb cycling in a nutshell. I don't think it needs much more explaining than that. You're depleting your glycogen to put your body in a fat burning state and then you are replacing that glycogen to fill your muscles back up, give yourself more energy, and then you're depleting that glycogen again. <laughs> so it's just another dieting tool and like I said Unless you're a competitor and you're in prep or you haven't seen much progress by being in a steady caloric deficit, then you don't really need to use carb cycling. It's just, it's not like very sustainable as a lifestyle, if you know what I mean. Like now that I'm not in prep, I'm not carb cycling, obviously. I mean, I'll have days where I don't track macros or every Friday we order, my family orders takeout, so I'll track everything up until dinner and then I won't track that meal. But it's just, it's, unless you're prepping or, yeah, I don't really see a need to carb cycle. Now I did carb cycle throughout, um, did I carb cycle through my improvement season? I think I did, but that was only because I didn't want to put on too much weight. And like I said, my body really responds well to carb cycling, so. But yeah, that's, I'm gonna shut up now. That's carb cycling in a nutshell, a very non-scientific nutshell. <laughs> and I'm gonna get some work done. I'll show you the puppy. Bravo! Oh, so cute. So cute.
outro for this video. So I thought I'd just film one really quick. Um, I had a great time with my family the other night. What was it, Saturday night? Yeah, and it's Monday now. Okay. <laughs> but it was really chill. We basically just hung out, ate dinner, had dessert, and that was basically it. Um, the reason I didn't film anything else after <laughs> the food, because, and I'm going to try to explain this the best I can, I had kind of like a mentally, mental slash emotional breakdown. <laughs> and, you know, we've just, we've just got a lot of stuff going on right now. And when I say a lot of stuff, I'm not like exaggerating. I mean a lot of stuff going on right now. And it's just been really stressful. And, um... Sorry, my arm's getting tired because I don't have my tripod to, like, extend the camera. But, also, I want to make it very clear that I am accepting of the fact that my body's going through a lot of changes and it's going to continue changing over the next four months, but that doesn't really make it any easier of a process to go through, if that makes sense. Like, I'm totally fine, like you know, what happens, happens. Obviously my body's gonna change, but for someone who has a past with body dysmorphia and disordered eating, which, I mean, disordered eating is not like a problem that has come back up again, but body dysmorphia, definitely a little bit of that going on right now. You know, when you recover, I don't think you ever fully recover, if that makes sense. You're always going to have to deal with your issues. And when certain things happen, they can kind of pop back up. So, I definitely accept the fact that my body is changing. I think it's amazing what our bodies are capable of. But, like I said, it doesn't make it any easier to go through, you know. So kind of had like a little breakdown with just the stress and I was having a very bad body image day. I basically hid in a sweatshirt all night and then Kevin took me on a bike ride. He has a sport bike and that helped. Just kind of got me out of my own head. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of why I didn't film anything else. But like I said, I had a great time with my family. Tomorrow's my actual birthday, and we get to find out what we're having, which is super exciting. So we get to find out if Kevin's right or not, and I'll let you guys know, you know, once we tell the family and everything. So keep an eye out for that, and I'm going to go shower now because we just got home from the gym, and we're going to take Bravo to the doggy beach. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you all. Bye.